really still a student of art. I'm still learning all the time. I just think art is very important. I think it's very important because it has to do with the mysteries of life. My name is Walter Rustin. I grew up on a farm in Bell River. Went to uh, W.D. Low Tech in Windsor, where I met uh, Bert Weir, who inspired me to become an artist. But he's the one that talked me into going to OCA. This is a collage I did at OCA. It's about a jazz club in Detroit. It's called the Club Five Behind. It's all photographs of different musicians playing different instruments. And I finished OCA, and uh, basically got a job working at Eaton's for two years in the advertising department, doing layouts and illustrations. You know, I was getting tired of sitting on a desk every day, and I decided I'd take a chance, and uh, yeah, so I decided to leave. I just wanted to paint murals. So doing a mural is very, very physical. You climb up ladder. And the work is out there for people to see, other than putting it in an art gallery, which only people who go to art galleries go to see. The first mural it was basically a house on Charles Street called uh, one of a kind, only one in the world shop. Well, they just wanted something small, and I said, well, why don't I paint the whole thing? So they went for that, and uh, I, I mean, I did it really cheap. The first thing that was challenging was scale, to, to make a small drawing 100 times bigger than what it was, you know? Once I get it figured out and started, you just got to start, that's all. This is uh, Hillman Marsh uh, Nature Center. So this is, this is about 15 feet tall. I remember standing here, uh, maybe about 10 feet away. This hummingbird comes right beside me and goes wham, right into one of the flowers. <laughs> I could hear it go bop, it flew away. So I thought, well, that was a good, good compliment. <laughs> you might get a job and work like mad for a month, day and night, you know, I mean, like really long hours. And then you might not work again for a month, so you just coast. That's when I would work on my paintings. And, uh, but whenever I started worrying about money, it seemed a job that would seem to pop up. This is uh, Gladstone Hotel. Uh, this is my studio in, on the top in the penthouse. This was my triangle period. I was doing a lot of triangles. And they fitted together and then they would hang from the ceiling. These are all have life drawings in them. Uh, sometimes in the fine art, I'm thinking, why am I doing this? I got all these paintings all over the place. I got a barn in Bowmanville full of paintings. Why am I making more? It doesn't make sense. But, you know, if it's just something, I don't know if it's escapism or it's, it's like I'm you're trying to, to figure, you're playing with, with paint you're, and you want to create certain images. You're always looking for something like another dimension, sort of, that you're sort of trying to find. It's always a search, I suppose. The, the commercial part of the whole fine art thing is just, you know, it's, it's not conducive to good art. It's just not conducive to making money. That's what it's all about. But our whole society is that now. Everything is about making money. I mean, even happened to me, uh, like you, you get, <clears throat> some of your paintings are selling. So the art gallery wants more of those. So 
it becomes commercial art then. You're, you're doing what, what they're asking for, right? Instead of moving forward and experimenting more and trying different things, I'm always trying to get something new, um, you know, trying to experiment. I think I look more deeply into art now. I think the education system is really lacking in that way. I mean, I know in high school, I took history. What did you learn in history? Well, you learn all the mass murderers, right? You know, the Caesars, uh, Napoleon, Hitler, all of these people that went around, took over everything. That's our history. You know, there's not much history on art. And art is the most important thing. The emphasis should be more on what people have created rather than what they destroyed.